y'all, welcome back to SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated, where we finally got through two of the hardest puzzles in the game so far. Thankfully, you are you're gonna jinx us, aren't you? I you have at you. Do you know what's ahead of us in any respect in terms of the difficulty levels? I know there's more boss battles involving giant robots. Fine, we probably face the two hardest things in this game. I get you. I mean, well, you have to. What, what, what are the boss battles in this game? As long as you stand still and then make like one jump every once in a while, you're through it in like five seconds. Well, we've already defeated Sandy, so uh, the next one should be Patrick. Oh, for Pete's sake! I was getting a little scared there because it's like, uh, did you kill Sandy while I wasn't looking? Because that might hurt your experience but nope here she is it was robot sandy who did we ever find out why that was a thing uh, i'm assuming plankton with the help of the president of the underworld i that that part really didn't uh get through my what? thick skull it wasn't hades it was poseidon I definitely want to say it was like Anubis, but uh, I, I don't remember all of the details, so it's fine. He had abs, and that's what really matters when you're a god, right? Yeah, you don't even, you didn't even pick the right, uh, you, you, you're, you're using, like, Egyptian mythos, not, not Greek or Roman. I, I kind of thought that that was the gods that they follow in, I don't know, Santa Barbara or something, but maybe I'm off today. It's okay. We'll figure it out later. Where? Do, what all can you do with these uh, new floaty Texas hoops that you have up here? You use them to traverse large chasms. Mm-hmm. Do you need to? Like, is there actually cool stuff at the end of that? Now, you said you, you can use them to traverse large chasms. Was that what you were doing? Where you wanted to see the bottom of the Chasm, I didn't think you needed those to see to, the bottom. What we need to do is we need to align the lasers for something. I don't remember because it's been it's been a week. That sounds awfully scarily similar to the thing that we had to do at the beach for who somebody that we don't care about anymore. Um We had to we But had to you're saying that, Twitter. We had to do it for Okay, sure. Yep, Squidward is here, and any anything to increase our chances of death while he's not around. And yep, we will do that for him. Although, so here's what I mean. Like, are some of these places just kind of over here? And oh, oh, there was a giant lake. Yeah, I just saw it. Let's. See. You did that one. Yeah, and it seems to be a little bit busted because the 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 laser doesn't match where the where the machine is. But anyway, it, it's working, so we have to just keep doing that. <laughs> you know what? I never thought about just hitting, not, not just hitting the laser's button, but just slapping the laser too. <laughs> Maybe taking the laser apart. I, why not? What What's the worst that could happen? We hurt ourselves and die? Good. That's exactly what Squidward would have wanted. Doesn't he like Sandy, though? I... Don't remember on an off day, perhaps. It's the. I would say it's Even because she's. I, I get the idea because like uh, she's smarter than everybody else, and is kind of on a similar wavelength there. But also her culture revolves around uh, fucking rodeos and uh, you know fucking horses probably. So I, I just don't feel like it. A hundred percent matches up in a way that makes any sense. Well, I mean, we Texans love our rodeos. I can't, I can't agree there. I thank God you chose the first thing that I mentioned and not the second because you oh, didn't. I, didn't. I didn't know that was not infinite. You live and you learn. I just kidding. You die, and thankfully you come back because the giant hand catches you. Yep, that's Hans. I, I, I get it, because he has the German accent, but, man, you just think that the hand job would be better. Well, you can call him hand job if you want. Thank you. But now that you've approved it, I don't feel like it's much of a rebellion, so I might just have to call him, uh, Harry. Okay, Harry's good. Maybe I'll call him, maybe I'll call him Riss. Riss? 
I, I'm sorry, I didn't get all the frickin'. Why is that so hard to say? Rests. That, I can't. Can I not say that today? Rests. Why don't we just call him Rosado? I, I don't think that he has even touched rice before, let alone eaten it. How does Hans eat? Do you want to explain that to everyone at home? Does he put it in his shirt? Is is that something that happens? I, I, I can't see what... I don't even know how to pleasure Hans, to be honest. I feel like this is a complicated procedure. Here we go. Laser's firing. Oh, that would probably hurt if it went in your eye. There's our exit. I beg to differ. I'm not sure. How, how could you possibly tell? Yeah. Well, maybe the giant <laughs> exit sign should be a clue. Remember the last time that we followed signs? We almost completely lost everything to do with Sand Mountain because they were all wrong all of the time. Where was a golden spatula up there somewhere in this universe? And yeah, it's gone. Who the fuck knows? I have no clue where that was. May oh, it's over there. Boy, are you having an awfully convenient day of things being just pointed out to you from afar. Yeah, because other is a good idea for today. I uh, it's been quite kind of floozy time of day. Ah, uh, you're gonna have to explain that, per particularly in a way that uh, children can understand. I don't think I want to explain a lot of it, but point is, at one point, I had a massive tangle in my hair that took an hour and a half to get out. Painfully, I might add. You know what? Every once in a while, one of us, as people that have hair, we mix up the shampoo with the industrial strength glue. It happens. They go on the same shelf in the bathroom. You deal with it every once in a while. You make sure you don't swallow any. Or at least if you do, you have a will prepared. And you just move on. You do have a will prepared, right? Uh, no, I don't have a will prepared. Do you know? I... If, if you give me, like, uh, oh, what is the going rate for a will these days? I want to say $20,400. I'd be happy to put something together for you. It all goes to me, but that being said, just in case you don't die quickly, I'll take the $20,400, too. <laughs> I would like it, too, please. What, the $20,400 or the will? <laughs> Uh, either or. I'd mostly, I'd mostly I'd rather have the money. Okay, I, I don't think you understand a lawyer-client relationship today, but I will be happy to, uh, in fact, inform you how lawyer-client relationships work after you pay me a second $20,400. You... You gonna sneak through there? I don't think I can, it's bugged! Uh, oh. Wait, so you're telling me that because Sandy woke it up, now unless you give it warm milks, it's not going to go back to sleep. Wait, why is why is my sneaking not working either? Am I pressing the right button? I know that they went through a longer than necessary explanation to tell you about it. Wasn't it like left bumper-ish? It's left. not. Oh yeah, it is. Down, it's, down. it's left What trigger. was that? Of course it is! If only I had ever touched an Xbox controller in my entire life! I have even, not! This is not even an Xbox controller, this is a Logitech. Okay, I already bought that, apparently. And it has helped you by being open. In... I, I, I don't know. In case you need a place to sleep. Some place to put your finger on. Okay. Despite this being incredibly scary looking. Yeah. Everything. What the? Wait, what? Hey, it's, uh, I didn't, I didn't, I, there's a duplicatatron somewhere that's bugging it up. Great. So, this entire process means that you have to, in fact, move very quickly or... 
your choices are move super fast so you don't have to worry about anything, or move so slowly that everyone else is probably going to screw you entirely. Huh. Our option three, find every duplicatatron I can and destroy it. You... I am not going to question your judgment here, because it would be just like this game to have this duplicatatron affect a robot that exists like 20 miles across this map. Something that's bothered me about this level, it's called Rock Bottom. We get punished for falling to the bottom? I feel like that's just opposite of the entire purpose of this We're clearly, town? We're clearly near the Marianas Trench. Oh my gosh, that would explain a little- Wait, does that mean Spongebob lives in like, Japan? It's wherever Bikini Atoll is. Oh, that's supposed to match up- Oh, you've probably told that to me before. I you've mentioned bikinis to me before, but the nuclear explosions, which uh, doesn't really please my uh, manhood, but uh, I deal with it. And so... Yeah, cool guys that, look at explosions, remember? Something like that. <laughs> so, so the reason that all the animals talk and just are generally, like, way uh, more... Uh, Intelligent. Uh, look, some sometimes radiation makes things uh, cooler, on, and and sometimes it makes it uh, just a little fucked up generally. So also more you, cancerous. You, so that's that's well, it's over there, by the way. Of course it is. So if you can kill this guy and make the jump immediately, um. There it is. Yep, out of range! And a checkpoint! Just kidding! The dip. I forgot that the duplicatatron doesn't actually affect the robots that already exist. So anyway, so you're saying that the nuclear bomb testing that they did around Bikini Atoll has caused all the characters in Spongebob to essentially become anthropomorphic. That's the general theory. And also the theory about why it's called Bikini Bottom. Definitely not the... Uh, I shouldn't say that. I was going to say it's not the sex appeal of Patrick, but some people <laughs> would disagree. I Nobody can't, here. I can't help what I like. I would dare say that uh, electroshock therapy would help, but not today. So would a lobotomy. What's your point? I can do both. What? Wait, that does that take us anywhere? Yeah. I it, it's up to you. Obviously, you have the check as to what uh, what else needs to be. Uh, I guess I guess we'll go back and uh, we'll we'll figure out what goes where from from there. Cause I'm not sure. Cause it's been a week since we've done this. Jellyfish. Oh wait, we haven't even been here yet. I don't think we've ever seen. What? What do you want? Slapping them into oblivion! You're SpongeBob! They're also trying to kill me. They always do! That's because they're wild animals! That's kind of the whole point of why they're hunted for sport! But you also, use nets! I will also remind you that SpongeBob has killed before, and they were wild animals. Take that! Ah, uh, I appreciate your vagueness because it adds tension to the situation, but I would also like to know what you're referring to. He once killed an entire flock of clams. Okay, did they ask for it? Eh. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Mr. Krabs, you have... I like money! Did... Is he saying anything? Oh, there he is. I could have sworn. I saw a golden spatula here a minute ago, but I think it fell down this slide. Down the slide? It might have broken its leg. I've got to save it. Go, boy, go! Save that poor spatula! Huh, I'm surprised. <laughs> that would have been a perfect opportunity for Mr. Krabs to say, like, huh, you know what, SpongeBob, break a leg. No, I mean it. I'm pretty sure Squidward would say that instead. I don't think Mr. Krabs likes SpongeBob either. He likes him enough that he, because he makes him money. Uh, does he though? He's the I cook. get. He's the cook. 
that's fair. It's not like you pay SpongeBob and anything but handshakes and uh, pocket lint, so not a big deal. Nice catch. That was even unlocked Ultra Spatula Seeker. That's because you have fifty. Most people probably don't. Because it takes a long ass time to put all that work together. If you actually stood on top of the giant bomb throwing robots, would they just destroy themselves? I honestly don't know. That's a bit of dumb <laughs> shit science. I haven't decided to try yet. I do love me some experimentation. Particularly when the threat of death is involved. You just love dumb shit science, don't you? What? D did you not see that it sh probably shot you right in the face? And why do we have to be up here? Not that it matters, and you don't even probably have to hit that. It doesn't make you faster, does it? No, I, I just... I don't know. I hope no one left their gum on this giant-ass slide, because guess who is using their tongue to go down it very quickly? He'd probably like it. SpongeBob is just a... Yeah. He's he's a he's a dirty birdie. He's a dirty boy. Where did that tone of voice come from? That's from the that's from the episode where he tried to get Gary to take a bath. Oh my gosh, I was gonna say <laughs> I'm a dirty boy. <laughs> Just the way that the way that you're doing it, which is in fact pretty accurate. Just for some reason, like, the first thought that came to my head was just like, uh, that podcast where it's like my dad wrote a porno, except it's Spongebob, which makes it worse. Anytime. There you go. Now, this happened the last time. Thank goodness he bragged. Mm -hmm. We are not stuck, are we? We shouldn't be. There's another sock over that way. Awesome. And we get to it by... Good question. Aha! Uh -huh. Walking there, hopefully. Not something extracurricular. I'd prefer not to. I think I just hit the end of the path over here. So, and uh, all I have to... I just have to go back. Uh, this is frustrating as all hell, isn't it? Because you saw us for like five feet. I mean, thanks for the compliment, I guess. What do you mean? SpongeBob, you weren't using your pants. That would honestly make more sense. Hmm. Okay. I'm I gonna, let me let me let me check and see if I've got everything here now. Besides the socks, I no. Still, I still have not uh, finished one task, and I've got five out of six paintings. I bet that's the task. Yeah, gotta get all of them to Mrs. Puff. You know what? Anything that you can do is Sandy to take me away from the idea of how SpongeBob applies pants wax. I'm I'm not feeling it right now, so. You are up and at him, and this is the this is the start. I well, realized that with the signs and the checkered flags. Well, I mean, Correct. we're 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 better to start and make sure that you've got everything, other than the start. Okay, that you got me there. I do want to say that this was a hour and a half circle. I how is this game so big? I couldn't tell you. Mighty impressive, all things considered. And actually, Sandy can wow just make it over. Thank goodness. It's almost as if the game knew that you would come around as Sandy to do this for some reason. There's the last paint. <laughs> It really was that close to the beginning. Who needed these? Mrs. Puff. 
Sure. Okay. I Anything to get in there. I think she's stealing them. Well, guess what? We're an accomplice now. So we're stealing them. And that means you need to be quiet about this. Remember, don't break under interrogation. What have I taught you? <laughs> I am guarantee you that is not going to make anybody. <laughs> oh, she was right here. Yeah, but I can't interact with her as Sandy. I have to, I have to be SpongeBob. Yeah, you're not taking like a forensic anthropology course from her or whatever the frick she teaches on the side. She probably teaches how to make shivs for prisoners. Oh shit, she was in prison for multiple days and liked it, probably. So, yeah, oh, did. these are my people. Why? Why does she sound like a character from Everybody Loves Raymond? <laughs> <laughs> I just, I don't know why I jumped every, you, it reminds me of like the freaking Ray's mom for some reason. Otherwise, I would almost say it's like, it's some, you, you were pretending to be one of the Sopranos without ever having seen the Sopranos and are just guessing what they do in New Jersey for the entire time, which I've is making the pizzas, I guess. I don't freaking know either. Some TikToker got beat up for, for, uh, doing classic uh, New Yorker lines. Hey, I'm walking here. Forget about it. And he got beat up by a Karen. I'm so confused. That entire chain of events is just bullshit from start to finish. It is what? what it happened. I have. I I saw the video evidence. Last piece of artwork accounted for, Mrs. Puff. I, left no I dare say you saw the video because you might have been the Karen that beat him up in the first well, place. The museum will finally be able to reopen, and here's your... Okay, her, the museum being her bathroom. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Mrs. Achievement Puff. Achievement unlocked. Hi, Rock Bottom. No, hit Rock Bottom. You're also allowed to say hello. Until we and leave immediately. All, of them, all except for the socks. We don't. It's just not worth it. Not for now, at least. Oh yeah, Rick. I'm JFK from Clone High, and I am telling you to subscribe to the Geeky Skunk Gamer and his friends Geo Joe 2000 and uh, uh, Luigi Fan 891.